Hey everyone, it's Phil and Vanya back today again with The Athlete Spine, and today we have an interesting and different injury that we haven't reported on today, and that's a stable spine fracture. So what happened? Yeah, so Cole Lewis is a Blackfoot cowboy who was actually participating in a rodeo event in Southeast Idaho and was actually thrown off his Bronco last week. Yeah, and this is a different injury than you've seen us report on uh, recently, you know, with athletes with uh, fractures that just needed rest and fractures that needed surgery that caused paraplegia. And this is uh, what we call a stable spine fracture. And what's been reported in the news is that he had fractures uh, both in his cervical spine as well as at T6, and he didn't need an operation. So what are the sort of things that we think about as to whether a spine fracture needs surgery or not? Yeah, so I think there's two major components to any fracture, right? Is, okay, is it stable? And stability can be graded in a lot of different ways, right? We think about the spine in different columns. We think about different elements within the spine. We have criteria that are set and that define whether a fracture is stable or unstable. And if it's deemed unstable, as you can see sort of in the pop-ups that are right here, generally we do some sort of fixation. Now, the other thing that is really important is the neurologic status, right? We know that with Cole, he was seen to be moving his legs and arms as well as talking right after the injury. And so we know there wasn't something so catastrophic that would require something emergent, but numbness and tingling in the arms or weakness or even pain shooting on the arms or other odd feelings going down the legs, that is a red flag of, hey, let's take a second look. Maybe we need to perform some type of procedure. Yeah, if we look at it in really basic terms, what is the spine doing? The spine is keeping us upright and it's protecting our spinal cord. And so if any of one of those two things is, is not functioning properly, then our job as surgeons is to fix that. And the good thing for, for Cole Lewis is it sounds like he has stable fractures, he is neurologically okay, he was not having a problem with instability, and so it's lo hopefully this is gonna fill up nicely in a brace and he's not gonna need anything done further. Yeah, because you know, how do we treat these stable fractures? Just like Benny just said, bracing is sort of that first line treatment, right? It helps stabilize the region so the fracture is not moving around too much. And it also sort of helps reduce the pain uh, and sort of prevents you from moving around and hopefully providing you some relief as well. Yeah, and for a return to play, what can we expect, right? So the goal for him is one, for the fracture to heal and spine fractures take a little bit longer than some other fractures to heal. So it can be up to three months or so, you know, before the bones knit back together and the fracture is healed. But once the fracture is healed, he has to demonstrate that he has painless range of motion. He can do the activities that are necessary to be a cowboy. And once those things, those goals are achieved, then hopefully he can get back to, get, get back to his sport. Yeah, and for Cole's sake, you know, the bottom line is this, right? When there's no neurologic injury that we know of and fractures that are being treated like they're stable fractures, he should be able to go back to riding Broncos again once he heals up. So. Yeah, so um, I hope you guys found this interesting. Uh, we have another upcoming video that we're going to talk about uh, another spine fracture that was treated non-operatively, but there's a little twist to it in the sense that it uh, hasn't healed as expected. So until next time, um, uh, it's Phil and Vanu. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram. See you later.